by Claudia's breakfast. Maybe she's not hungry. Well, maybe um, we have to give him a snack. Or is that meddling? Never mind. I know the answer. Uh, Kendall, we, we really do have to talk about product support for new beginnings. She walked away. She does that. Okay, I have so much work to do, but fine. Oh. What was that going on between you and Kendall? Spike didn't finish his breakfast. Zach, I need to know what's wrong between you and Kendall. Why? So I can help solve it. You two are so much alike, it's scary. Mom, will you please come to the party with us? Honey, you keep on asking, I'll keep on saying no. But Adam will be there. Which is why we shouldn't. And I won't be, among other reasons. OK, but maybe he'll drink tons of scotch, too much scotch, and then he'll, he'll tell you what his plans are for fusion. <sighs> Sweetheart. I appreciate your concerns about fusion. I really do. But if I humor that man one minute longer, then his ego is going to expand even larger. It's going to block the sun. OK, well, whatever it is you're feeling, can you please ignore it? Because I have no one on my side in this. You have Zach on your side, right? Zach. Honey. You have got to fix this now. We will. And I will also take care of Fusion on my own as well, because you clearly are not as strong as you think you are where Adam is concerned. Oh, I see. So now you're trying to manipulate me? Accuse me of being weak and then make me worry about your marriage? My marriage is fine, but my company is not. Look, I have faith in you. Adam Chandler is no match for you. I'm gonna I bet you're wishing that you never gave this house back to my old man. Honestly, I never really liked this house. Hey, Emma, that's a pretty dress. So, Ryan, you're not here with, uh... I am just on a cupcake hunt with my little girl here. That's all I'm doing. Oh. Well, have fun. All that meddling and the world keeps on turning. Look at that. The whole day gonna be like that? I hope not. I really do. This is fun. Well, we had to make an appearance. She is part of Fusion. Uh, <laughs> what? Nothing. Hi. Mom. Hi. Um, I didn't expect it to see you here. Well, my goodness, how could I refuse such a desperate plea? I think I hear a toast coming on. Oh. Everybody grab a glass. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Baby, you're over here. You're He's choking. Somebody get the line one one. I'm on it. I'm on it. Come on. Now. Please. Hey, what are you doing? Get him. He can't breathe. Get your hands off of him. Stop. Oh, he needs a doctor, oh. not you. It's okay. It's okay. Come on, make some room. Make some room. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Annie. She's the one who got him breathing. Thank you. Oh, no. Don't thank me, really. No, it's the least I could do. You just saved my son's life. Slow down. Okay. What are you doing? You know what? If you want to go and, and watch JR fall all over himself to thank Annie, go right ahead. But I have seen all I can stomach. His son almost choked to death. Of course he's grateful. Oh, please. You think Annie saved little A out of the goodness of her heart? No, she didn't. She did it for one reason. To, to look like some kind of a hero. So when Ryan found out... Are you serious right now? What better way to earn back Ryan's trust than to prove she's a good person? Kendall. Ah. A little boy is choking and you start screaming at the one person who's trying to help him? You mind telling me what that's all about? What it's always about. Your daughter's belief that the whole world revolves around Ryan Lavery. What is going on? What is all this shouting about? Ryan, Ryan here what you What was this gun doing in your bedroom, Annie? You had a gun around Emma? Calm down. 
calm down. How calm would you be if Spike and Ian were, were in a room with a loaded gun? Waving it around is not going to make it any less dangerous. No, Adam is right. Please put that gun away before anybody gets hurt. Emma doesn't know that this is not a toy. Okay, Annie? How could you leave it lying around? How could you do that? I didn't, Ryan. Right, right. Just like you didn't fake a car accident. You have it. It's not loaded. I know it's not loaded. It doesn't make a difference if it's not loaded. I found a gun in my daughter's bedroom, and right now, I want to know how the hell it got there. The truth, Annie, right now. Not that she's capable of it. The gun is mine. I put it there. Adam, you're in the habit of leaving guns around your home with small children living here? Don't you know better than that? Well, it's not as if I uh, left it on my bedside table, is it? Stashed under the bed isn't a whole lot better, Adam. What's wrong with your safe? The safe uh, is fortified by six inches of steel and can't be opened without entering three separate codes. Well, that sounds like the perfect place to store a gun to me. Much better than just storing it in a spare room. At the time this happened, there was a madman loose, on the run, killing Fusion employees one by one. I had guns all over this damn house. Babe was here as a house guest. I had a responsibility of her life as well as my own family. But well, we have guards. It's their job, right? I didn't want to take that chance. And given your wife was a target, I'm sure you can sympathize. But the Satin Slayer was caught over a year ago. Why still keep the gun up in my room? <laughs> Clearly, I forgot about it. You know, it's not just Emma who could have been hurt. What about little A? You're not worried if you leave a gun around, he's going to pick it up and think it's a toy? Well, thankfully, he didn't find it. <laughs> God knows Little A's given us enough scaring for one night. And now, if you all will excuse me, I'm going to go check on my grandson right now. May want to put this away. Yes, wouldn't want this to fall into the wrong hands, would we? A little late for that, isn't it? <laughs> well? You satisfied? No. No, I'm not. Not until my daughter is out of this house. You can't take my daughter. <sighs> Emma happens to be my daughter, too, Annie. And there's no way that she's spending another night in this house, not with guns being left around, all right? She's coming home with me. This is not about the gun, Ryan. You're doing this. You're taking Emma to punish me. Oh, God, give me a break. Ryan is doing this to protect Emma. And if you were any kind of a parent, you'd be doing the same thing. I knew this would happen. The second the doctor told us, I knew this would happen. Because you went out of your way to make everything OK and say all the right things. You even took us to, to, to plant a damn tree. But deep down, I knew that you blamed me for losing our baby. And you still blame me. And that's why you're doing this. I want Emma safe. I will not let you take her. You can't. I need her. Oh, really? OK, what about what Emma needs? You ever one stop to think Nothing about that? Nothing has to be decided tonight. Why don't you guys just uh, go and get some sleep and talk about it? How the hell am I supposed to sleep when I just found a gun in my daughter's bedroom? <sighs> the gun's locked up. Emma's safe. Why don't you come with us and you can tuck and spike and beat him a story or something. And if you're still up, you can give Ian his 2 o'clock feeding. That way, at least we can sleep. How about that? Yeah. All right, come on. Spike could use some daddy time. This is not over. You know, if this is your idea of an apology, it could use some work. You can save your moral outrage for somebody who might buy it. You and I both know that you're responsible for that gun being in your room. Then why take the blame? It's called paying it forward. You saved my grandson's life, and so I pulled your feet from the fire, and none too soon either, because Lavery was about to string you up, and Kendall had already cast the first stone. Well, Kendall is just jealous. She is going to do whatever it takes to keep me out of Ryan's life. Oh, really? You expect me to believe that she came in here, went into a lock safe, stole a gun, stashed it in your room for the sole purpose of proving you're a bad mother? Adam, what would I have to gain by leaving a gun in my own bedroom? Huh? Nothing. Kendall probably put it there. She's been desperate to destroy my marriage. And you know what? If she keeps this up, she's going to lose Zach, too. Yeah, and lose her company. If Kendall is distracted, 
She won't know until it's too late that Fusion is being stolen right out from under her. What about Fusion? Ah. <laughs> It's late. Who are you calling? Jack. Annie's latest stunt just gave you leverage to file for and win sole custody of Emma. Adam said he's the one put the gun in the room. He's lying. How do you know that? You're going to take Adam Chandler's word as gospel? No, all I'm doing is asking some questions, same as the court will. You know what I don't want? Some big custody battle where Emma's involved. I don't think anybody wants that. Well, he's not going to let her get away with this, are you? Ryan, you have to press charges. It's the only way to protect Emma. Kendall, we gotta be careful. This could get ugly. Could. It already is. Annie has become a complete whack job. I mean, her idea of responsible parenting is keeping a gun in the same room her daughter sleeps in. We've gotta do something. We aren't gonna do anything. I'm gonna handle this myself. Get How? Me. Please stay out of my business. Whatever you're thinking. Don't worry. I'm not thinking of ways to take Annie down. I was actually just thinking that you are right about me. If it's not Ryan's life, it's Greenlee's life I'm meddling in. I guess somehow I convinced myself that I'm helping, but all I'm really doing is pushing away the people that I care about. When it comes down to it, Annie is Ryan's wife. And I don't need to be involved in trying to fix things in their marriage. Especially if it's gonna cause problems in ours. I'm sorry, Zach. I know you've been trying to tell me about this for weeks. I think it's ironic it took Ryan to make you see that. <laughs> 